day two, back at the farm. Really high 30 signal. Look what I pulled out of there. And it was freaking deep. Really, really deep. Deeper than my whites. I don't know how far down you can see, but look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is definitely, uh, it still has a doodad thing attached. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I don't know what kind of a buckle that is. That's a big end. Oh, I see I scratched it a couple times getting down in there. I don't know if it has any designs on it or not. That's really, really cool. Oh my gosh, it's giant too. Look at the size of that. Okay, GoPro, stop Me recording. Too. Adam found an old hoe. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Yeah, I know. You never can. <laughs> you never can. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm finding. It's really deep stuff today. I know. That's, everything that's good is deep. It's yeah. Faint stuff. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a while to get to it, but yeah. Yeah. Once I well, get you out here, I don't know if I, I showed that, my buckle. I, that's what I've noticed is everything surface or close to surface is either new, <laughs> new or... And out there, around the outside edge, closer to the road, the dirt's heavier. And you hit this clay layer, like, at a foot to 18 inch deep in the yard. There's a clay layer underneath all this sand. That's where everything stops, because ah. everything sinks down through the sand during time. Yeah. So as the sand builds and works down, it, it like, slowly works itself down to that clay layer to stop. So if we could get 18 inches, we could be doing this all day long and taking everything. <laughs> I need to get takes a, a while. I need to get a storm coil. The NEL storm, the big 18 inch coil. That that's really what I need. You know. That's we're gonna good. be doing this yard. Oh yeah, <laughs> and the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. We got about 600 acres here. We're never gonna finish it all, but we're in yet? the front yard. This wasn't easy to get to in this clay crap. It's a Canadian penny. Rang it like a quarter. I was hoping for a quarter or something better. So you can tell the year on there, and I cannot. The watch is going off. Hang on. Set a timer, one hour. Okay, one hour and counting. Okay, continue. I can't tell the year, but oh, here we go. Here's on the back, right? That's 63. I guess we'll find out later. I think it's a 63. Okay. Moving on. Found a ring. Remember. But yeah, that looks like a little Ooh. junker ring. That's pretty cool looking. In the sunlight. May I? Yeah. Looks absolutely. like it might be copper. Or one of those aluminum ones. But hey, it's a ring. Yeah. Score. Wonder how old that might be. No idea. Cool. Put a little water on it too. Eh? <sighs> How's the uh, bottle tops and uh, yeah. pole tabs going. I've got, <laughs> I got a couple of honeys that aren't wheat, almost wheat, a 50, a, yeah, 59 to 61, uh, and nothing. A Canadian penny, I can't read the date on. Yeah, that's aluminum. Yep, it's aluminum. That's still cool, it's a ring. Yep. A little piece of jewelry here, 1213. I was hoping for a nickel, but this is better. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's a unicorn. Little unicorn charm. Back is rusty, so it's definitely not silver. Cool. That's pretty. I got a little unicorn charm. Really? It's not silver. <laughs> but that's cool. looking for a nickel rang up at 1213 but I'll take it that's cute looks like he has a beard <laughs> cool oh, yeah, look at that. I like finding stuff like that 
And you were right about that coin, that Egyptian coin. It's brass, silvered colored brass. Yep. Thanks. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Yay. All right, moving on. Adam's found something good, a button. Not to oh my gosh, look how deep that was. Ooh. That's a two piece. That's pretty cool. Macho man Andy Savage. What's he got over here? Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a nice little like uh pattern on there, right? Yeah. Look how deep it was. I don't want to take it too far with the brush, but mm. A little, yeah. a little That's lemon nice. juice will clean yeah, that, that up. Clean up nice. I want to see what it has the for symbols. Are, yeah. It's definitely. I had one similar to that, but it was a golf button. It had different things on there. It symbolized golf. Oh, that, was, a, that was a good 10 inches a deep. Closer. Oops, I the shade. I can't make out any of those figurines. It's all right, we'll get it cleaned up or you'll I get it cleaned up. I just got a button that rang up just like a nickel and I just got a button that rang up like a nickel. In fact, I was in the process of digging this up when he called me over. Well, when he got his, so. Here it is, teeny tiny. This one's smaller than a dime. Nothing on it, so I guess just a plain old flat button. But I am happy to have it. Welcome aboard, sir. <laughs> Here comes Patrick. Patrick my... thinks it's colonial. Yeah, that's colonial. Awesome. I'm looking for my my one piece still. Nice. Like this, you mean one piece? Yeah, <laughs> All right, moving on. Got an axe shoe up here, Adam. Would you nickname Adam? <laughs> uh, I don't know what he said, but something savage. Adam Savage. Something. Oh, oh, Macho Man Andy Savage. That's it. That's what it That's is. That's what your channel's gonna be, I bet, <laughs> when you get one. Where's your ox shoe? Uh, I actually. Oh, right here. Oh, that's a horseshoe. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. That's a horseshoe. Right. Good luck. He's got us a horseshoe. Yeah, the ox shoe is two pieces, and it looks a lot different. I'm trying to explain okay. how it looks. It kind of looks like two parentheses. That is definitely a horseshoe. Okay. Awesome. I guess it there could be a mule too. I don't know, but. Good luck. Got something else good up here. Well, it's something. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's really disintegrated. I didn't oh, know. Oh, is okay, that a gun? Good. A little, little gun? gun? Oh, cool. A little toy gun. It's actually really neat. It's really small for that. Jeepers. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. It looks like it's copper like plated too. The top yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Copper and you stainless, really see maybe. It's copper plated. It's that just, is so cool. Copper and then plated over. I think it's pop copper. metal and then the they put a copper coating on it. That's pretty cool. Oh. Now you got my buckle right about there, <laughs> right around oh, yeah. there, right about where you. I can't remember what you found over in this area yesterday, but you found something Ooh. here. Right up has a 14. Oh, silver spoon. Now I think this one's just plated. Oh. It's nice and shiny on that side. This side doesn't look so shiny. Yeah, it's plated. I can see the for coming through Bring but 14 is kind of the wrong number for probably silver. say coin plated right on the back here yeah you gotta have a maker's mark and it'll probably say coin plated right there cool definitely plated but boy that looked good down there it was only yeah, 14 all up pretty good yeah yeah I always like to find this silverware. My drawer is so full of them, I use them. <laughs> That's the same pattern as what we were finding at that other cellar hole there. Is it? Yeah. Here you I go. have to look, it's in my trunk. <laughs> nice. Cool, thank you. Yeah, score. Must have been popular back then. Nice. Spoon. Moving Patrick on. Patrick got another large scent. <laughs> He's killing it. That's what you had yesterday too, a drape bust, right? Are like quarters. No, I got a, a braided hair. The oh. one yesterday, I think it was 1837. Oh, nice. I couldn't get a date on mine. Awesome. Yep, and you're right. Yeah, piece that, of pottery. Definitely not a half set. Oh, That's wow. right, on, right, right down there. I'll be darned. Look at the holes all around it, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just goes to show you. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, no. Mine's 
they face in the other direction, okay? <laughs> the profile's the other direction on mine. Oh, this is a 17. Yeah, it could be. It is. No, I see the 7. What is it, 1817 or no, 1700? 1700. Probably 1798, oh the most common year. Oh my gosh, I don't have anything. 1799, you don't uh, find because... Uh, no, that, that's a, uh, 1799. Oh, it, uh, oh no, it, it might. I mean, I, probably not. I don't have it's a loop. No, you're right. Things. It's a 98. Jeez. The thing with the 1799s is they made a lot of them, but they put them all on chests and sent them over to Africa to yeah. buy slaves, and the ship sank. So they're all in the bottom of the ocean. Lovely. Uh, that, yeah, the what the bottom part of it's wiped out, but I mean, it looked like the same top as the nine, but it might be a 98. Oh, I haven't found any coins. But it's from definitely 1700. Yet. Right yeah. there, and yes, look at the big is. holes all around it. <laughs> that's so funny. Congratulations oh, works, again. Very, Holy moly. It's probably a wheat. I don't know. Could possibly be an Indian. I don't know. I don't know. Could be an Indian or it might be a wheat. I'm not sure. I'll check yours, you check oh, mine. <laughs> oh, I like yours. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Let's do a swap. Oh, nice. Yeah, yours has got good writing on it, too. Uh, I think he does. Let me see. You got an Indian. Score! <laughs> what do you have here? Macho Man Andy Savage back on the board. I think I heard him just saying. Oh, she's got the Indian. He I got the spoon. <laughs> All right. The spoon. Look at this thing. That kind of looks like it says Shirtburn uh, Hotel Supply on the back. It's an old advertising spoon. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't get the something supply. Indian to poke his face, but I can see the, the start of the wreath and the scent on this the back. This one had me going. What is, oh. oh, my goodness. Is that a button? Yeah. yeah I, see the, oh the, the, I see where the shank broke <gasps> off in the back mark. Oh. <laughs> that has you going, right? Yeah. It's colonial size That's for beautiful. corn. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I can see the scent. There's the tea right there, and the the wreath would be right around that. And can I take a peeker? Yeah, I I just I got Q-tips in there or toothpicks, toothpicks in there. It'll take yeah, that grime right the off. the hell out of my. Uh, can I say oh, hell? Yeah. Let's yeah. redo that. I toothpicked the heck out of mine <laughs> last night. I couldn't get any date. It was just well, no date. Button? Yeah, so I do. Easy. If you can find it again. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Forget how tall you are until I, I see know. you. <laughs> no design that side. It says you guilt on this side. It. Oh, it does. Mine said something like guilt, too. I can't some kind of guilt, but I didn't know what the heck it was. Score. No? This. Clean it up and we'll be right back with you. Yeah. Can you get a date? Uh, I probably... Oh, it is definitely an Indian. I can see it now. Probably could with a little bit more work, but I haven't gotten there yet. Let's see if it's a. Oh, it is an 18. 1882? Nice. 1882 or an 1889? Or could be a, a 1900 even, just like the one I found yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Here, hold oh, on. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is enlarged. Eight. Oh, wait. I, I can't Isn't tell. Neat. Yeah, that's. Uh, let me give it a Oops. little brush. That's what mine looked like that's until a, I got it cleaned up a little it's bit. It's got to be an 18. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like an 1880 something. It does. W.M. Rogers spoon. This is from Adam. Nice pattern. Very nice pattern. Too bad the bowl's missing. That's a shame. All right. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. Saw they medallion. were actually pretty ornate, too. Yeah. Saw medallion. If you brush that up, I guarantee you the inside's got... This guy's got the brush. Yeah. Oh, I can see there's a design there. Yeah, uh, each individual maker had a pretty ornate stamp. Yeah, we'll get a little, little datesy off that or something. Actually, I don't think any of them ever had a date. Yeah, this one probably don't have a date. Something New York. Middletown, New York. Cool. Yeah. W. L. Searson Co. Sears? Oh, cool. Se yeah, Searson. Searson. 
That's really cool. Thank you. Another yeah. tool for my husband's tool chest. Kind of a torque one. I think that's what they're called. Okay, yeah, moving on. Detector said it field or you found it in the field? Oh. oh. Miniature wow. version of you found, I think. It is. It's so close. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Nice. Another class, Bill? Oh, did you? Ah. You want to bake in the sun with me? Yeah. You got a buckle. <laughs> that, was, that sucker was deep. Oh, that's a knee buckle. That sucker was deep. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, tell me this isn't from the same era as hers. Uh, it definitely is. Yeah. yeah, it looks about the same. <laughs> just the way that they constructed it, just the way the... Yeah. That is so Wide. cool. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. You found another buckle out there yesterday, didn't you? Nope. No. Oh. No buckles for me yesterday. I'm well, heading out that way. over here. I'm cool. That silver, uh, awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here with... Andy, I can't remember his nickname, Andy Savage, I think. <laughs> Macho Man Andy Savage. Macho Man Andy Savage. That guy. <laughs> with Patrick, AKA Amphibious Detecting, and of course myself, Swinging Donna. This is day two at the 1800 Farms. Okay, what do you got there, Andy? Uh, I got a nice little fake ring. You gotta love it. Uh, piles of clad. This is like the clad spill yard. Spent bullet. Um, don't know yet. Old brass with gilt on the back. Two silver plated spoons. Awesome. Actually kind of nice. I like them both. And uh, 44 wheat. And horseshoe. Horseshoe. Good luck. How much clad and did Canada. you have yesterday? Oh my god, I had like $10 in clad. Like $10 and in clad. And I forgot about this guy. This oh, is my two piece. That's right. My two piece button here that's that I beautiful. still need to clean up and figure out what's yeah, going we'll on get there. The picture on the front, figure out what it is. It doesn't look like the golf club one I had. Mm -hmm. All right, what you got here, Patrick? Oh, you know, we got pet gun, whatever that means. This, uh, this little piece of pottery was in this hole with this uh, 1798 drink bust. 1798. Saw medallion, some kind of uh, trapezoidal buckle or modern bat wing. Nice dandy button. That'll clean up with some lemon juice. Yeah. Another roached out flatty. Use lemon juice on your buttons to clean the up? The ones yep. that are gilted like that, yeah. Yeah, it brings nice. the lemon juice and pops it out. Good to know. Yeah. How'd you but make a... that... And that are both beautiful. Yes, they are. All right, yes, you are. look like you made out pretty uh, well. I didn't do bad. My first find of the day was this gorgeous buckle. It's a giant. Supposedly colonial, we'll see. I'm sure people will have opinions on that. This tool, whatever that That's might be. A punch. A punch, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like it had vice grips on it, so I don't think it's that old. But Silver old. plated spoon. Okay. Very well so Couldn't tell what it's from. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. It's nice and shiny. When I saw the bowl in there, I thought, ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, unicorn charm. It's not silver. Too much corrosion going on there, but it's really pretty. It looks like he has a beard. Don't know. Beautiful Indian. Still don't know the year, but we figure it is. Uh, 1900 even. Okay, because I see like 1897, it so really I have no idea. Like it. <laughs> yeah. it really does no look idea. like it. No idea. But... And I, I don't I even really see it clear. Find out. And, and there's a nice right little flat it. button and just some clad, just the usual crap. Nothing else good, but a very good day. Day two in this yard, and we'll be coming back to do many more. Infantry. I'm gonna be cleaning it up. Let's see what we got. Quite oh, you know what? Those are colors too. Think... Those look like. I don't know. Got the crown. Oh, you know what? I think it's the same as mine. Those are golf clubs crossed in the middle. It looks... And there's like uh, either golf balls or a crew boat at the bottom. And the left, I think, is a golf bag. I think that's the same ones I've had. It might be. I, I don't know. What that's for? Some kind of golf club.